Slowly. I hope my downstairs neighbors don't hate me. That would suck. Which way do you go? This way? Nope. That's the wrong way. <laughs>Controller Hey y'all, what's up? I'm SuperLewis64 and welcome to my channel. On today's episode of Controller Bending, we are taking exercising to the next level. Today we are going to mod the Ring Fit Adventure Controller to play Breath of the Wild. For those who don't know anything about the Ring Fit Controller, let me fill you in. Nintendo has released yet another exercise controller, but this one actually kicks your butt. The Ring Fit Adventure Controller is like the Wiimote, but buff. Instead of just waving your arms around, you actually have to exercise with this controller. The Ring Fit Adventure controller takes in running, squatting, and other exercise motions and turns them into controller inputs. And since I'm hecka thick, I decided to play some Breath of the Wild and exercise at the same time. And you know what? What could possibly go wrong if I exercise to play a game? Now let's see how you get to the start menu. Squat, you fool. Squat. No, come on. <laughs> okay. Hey y'all, it's me, SuperLewis64. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell, it really helps out the channel. Okay, back to the video. So here's a quick explanation of how the controller works. The main function of this controller is that if I'm not running, it does not work. All of my buttons are turned off if I'm standing still. However, once I start running, I can start using my buttons again. I'll let Programming Lewis explain this a little bit better. Nothing happens, I can even show you here. I'm hitting the uh, sticks, nothing happens. I can't run, but until I start running like, like this, I actually get the moving game, as you can tell. <laughs> it's actually a little weird. To attack in-game, I need to squeeze a Joy-Con while also running at the same time. Jumping is a bit awkward, but it works by violently shaking the ring fitted controller while also running. The best part of this controller is that if you want to pause the game, you must squat. Yes, squat. You gotta work those buns and thighs to pause the game. Yo, it works! Hey! Oh, and the controller also has gyro aiming, which is uh, kind of awkward to do when you're running at the same time. For the rest of the buttons, here's an image to show you the control scheme. Keep in mind that in order to play the game, I have to be running. I did program a failsafe just in case if I ever drop under running pace, the controller doesn't instantly turn off during gameplay. I also forgot to mention how out of shape I am, so uh, let's see how bad this can get. Alright, slowly, but surely. Damn. Well. Oops. With the exercise mat down, let's watch Stream Lewis attempt to play Breath of the Wild with a Ring Fit Adventure controller. Did I ever mention that you have to run to skip through dialogue? Yeah, I hate myself already. Oh, who's that? Alright, we fighting. Oh no! <laughs> get up! Get up! Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. Nice. Close enough. <laughs> oh, wait, he's still alive? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That works out for us. Oh my gosh. Link is as dead as I am. Real life. <laughs> as you can tell, the controller does have a couple of bugs. Putting the Joy-Con over my head should turn on the lock-on, however running in place makes it pretty hard to keep it on. Another bug I found in my programming is if I squatted wrong, my start button wouldn't activate. Squat! Come on! Okay, whew! That took forever. No! Squatting finally works, so I need to... Eat one of these. Bye. I... To eat my food, I actually need to run. That's super weird. It didn't take too long after playing Breath of the Wild by running in place that I started to feel the pain. Oh, that took so long. Why well, that take so long? Hey y'all, I'm tired. On the bright side, I can finally tell my friends that I skip cutscenes by squatting. It gains its true power. This world will face its end. Okay, squat power is activated. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> now the real question is, can I get down this tower alive? Nope, I don't want to do that. Alright, slowly. Oh. That works too. Okay, let's look that way. Nope, let's look the other way. Oh, oh! I messed that up, everybody. I guess not.
is that if I don't move, I don't get anywhere. So like, I feel like I'm actually climbing, or I guess de-climbing a, a tower right now. Ooh, I'm beat. You know what would be nice? If I had a treadmill to do this on, because running a place kind of sucks. But if I was like running on a treadmill, that'd be pretty cool. Hey man, I've been doing this for like an hour, somebody help. I was already feeling the burn, but I decided to push through and see if I could beat a shrine. Uh, remember earlier when I said the gyro controls were a bit weird? Uh, yeah, this shrine was kind of hard since running and aiming with the gyro controls is super gross. Okay, Ooh, that took forever. Okay, hope this doesn't kill me. I'll work. I'll work for now. Maybe I get it, like, into its face. Okay, let's try this. There's no way I can miss this. Jog? One jog? Okay, yeah. We're good. Right there. Okay. It's got a... Nope! <laughs> Oh, damn it. Whew. There's no way this can mess up. <laughs> We're good. Perfect. Yeah, let's get let's get our prize and get out of here. Let me just squeeze it the hard. Whew. That took Way too much work just to get a piece of shrine. And there you go guys, that is what playing a game with an exercising controller looks like. And oh god do I feel defeated. Overall, I say the Ring Fit Adventure Controller mod is actually a success. We did have a few bugs from time to time, but I definitely got a workout in the end. I will have to apologize to Zelda, I'm way too out of shape to be Ganon right now. But at least I had fun breaking a sweat, I actually might start doing this as a workout from now on. Either way, I'm SuperLewis64 and thank you for watching another episode of Controller Bending. I'll see y'all next time. Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like what you see, definitely leave a comment below and subscribe. If you want to help the channel grow, feel free to share the video. It really helps. For the next episode of Controller Bending, I have another weird controller for Modern Warfare, and I can't wait to show y'all. Until the next episode, I'm SuperLewis64, stay cool and pay your taxes. Peace.